Life after the military can be a challenge for many. Clint Goodall served in Northern Ireland, the first Gulf War and in Bosnia during his time in the army. He suffered badly with PTSD since leaving, but is now turning his life around with the help of North East Charity Forward Assist, who are helping him overcome his anxiety. Normally it's a case of stay in my own house because you can control the environment, but it's the reassurance and the help and the support of Forward Assist and then the rest of the guys as well. Because without them there would be a lot of us in deep dark places and for that I thank them, really thank them. The charity uses peer-led diversionary activities to help former service personnel adjust to life after the forces. Trips like these to the Sunderland Climbing Wall help them socialise and talk through their problems with like-minded people. Many veterans suffer from isolation after their service but Forward Assist hopes getting them together will encourage them to talk through their issues and support each other. Things like this, you know, I can bring you out your shell. I mean, if you haven't got that much confidence in that, you've got to have a lot of confidence to climb up a wall. I mean, you're putting your, your life in someone else's hands, climbing the wall, because they're holding the ropes. Meeting other people and, you know, you get to talk to them, they could offer you a little bit of advice. For those who want a more relaxing activity, Forward Assist also runs a gardening project at Seton Delaville Hall in Northumberland. Veterans work alongside other members of the community to grow produce to be used in the charity's Cook to Give project. It also gives them a chance to mix with a wider range of people when other groups come to muck in and help them out in the garden. One of the things that we've identified is that by getting people out and getting them doing things and getting involved with the community, it helps them feel part of society and feels it makes them, helps them feel like they're giving back. Being here at Delville Hall is, is really relaxing, um, so it helps a lot of their stress. It gets them you know, from fresh air, they're outdoors, um, gets them a bit of exercise, and they also know that what they're doing is, 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 a, produ is a productive activity. After the hard work in the garden, the hard work in the kitchen starts as the produce is used for the regular lunches the charity hosts. Various local groups are invited along for a bite to eat, but today the gardeners themselves are enjoying the fruits of their own labour and the meals give the veterans another chance to socialise. A lot of guys socially isolate themselves so they don't actually get around other people. Getting them out, interacting with like-minded individuals, with other veterans, and seeing that they're not the only ones that have been struggling, but working together to overcome that. And once the confidence is built up again, we can then look at the end game, which is obviously employment.